From your group process, you may want to assign the value-added and non-value-added characteristics of the process. Uh, you do that because if you look at the report that comes up here, you'll notice uh, one of the defaults that we give you anyway, you don't have to use all these parameters, is value-added, non-value-added, required non-value-added. So how are we going to attach these particular characteristics? So what you do is you want to switch back to the show all detail which of course will activate the view mode and then you go to the value added, non-value added view. These different views just change the color coding that you see on the screen. So you can see here for instance our mold parts, everything uh, green is value added. And what you do is you, you're in this value added, non-value added mode, you point at the one you want to change. So let's say the clean up here is non-value added. So you hit the right mouse button and then you select non-value added. Let's say the setup here is required non-value added, hit the right button on that do required non-value added. And then here, maybe in the stock stack parts, replenish the mold raw materials. You hit the right button on that, and you might set up to require here. Right? So to set the, uh, the parameters that you're going to see when you go to your report over here, you see them detailed by value added, non-value added. And you can see by the different areas, uh, you can see each one of them has value added, non-value added required. Uh, you, you actually come back over into your process, you select the value added, non value added flag, and then you just start setting it by clicking the right mouse button and making your selection here. And of course, you don't see that when you switch back to the show all detail, but that of course is already uh, defined in there and will appear on the reports.